Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, Mario was just uh, sleeping and talking in his sleep because he does that in this game as well now. But anyway, hey, you're back. The Link amiibo, the Mario amiibo. Let me and let me see. The Inkling Boy amiibo are all back from looking for hints. Did this off screen? It just shows you where the hints or the moons are that you haven't collected, similar to the way that you can pay Toad 50 coins for the hint. This just means that you can get free hints if you have amiibo, which is a, a good way to do that, I guess. But anyway, we also have some more purple coins to collect at the very beginning of this level, and believe it or not, we actually have a third of the moons in this level already. So there's not much left to do. Just need to do a few more things, basically. And we should be done by the end of the episode. So let's grab the rest of these purple coins that are here at the very beginning. And also, now that we've done the multi moon, these stairs are here now, which means we can go up there the normal way. Instead of the way of cheating. But anyway, a lot of these moons are very easy to get in this kingdom. Very easy. There's also... This thing here. This is a hint art. This shows a picture from another kingdom that we need to go to to get a moon. Something's different between these pictures. It's recommended to take a screenshot of them when you do it, so you can actually see where to go. If you've not seen uh, them before and don't know what you're doing. But anyway, we can, I'm surprised we can jump that stack so well. I actually don't think we need these. Uh, oh, actually we might for those purple coins up there, yeah. So let me get up there. These are the only things that those goombas are used for, I'm pretty sure. There's also another fishing spot here, so let's see if I can actually catch this fish first try this time, except I didn't because I, I scared it off already. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Can I catch a fish? Uh, apparently not. Oh, I'm not angry. I'm not angry at all. Just gonna wait. I'm just gonna, just gonna wait. I believe if you catch any of the smaller fish, they give you coins, but you don't need coins. Please catch on the thing. Oh my goodness. Oh. It couldn't reach because it was too close to the edge of the wall. Anyway. There we go. And let's grab ourselves another power moon. Lake fishing. Okay. There's also another timer challenge over here that we can do. So let's do that. We need to get to that moon very quickly. Very quickly. So let's ground pound a whole bunch. And we should be able to get it. Just like that. Okay. Um, there's also a seed that I need to go get from the tunnel. Which will be good to get out of the way now because it's going to need its time to grow. If we grab one of the cheap cheeps though... We can actually get there a little bit faster, but we also have to get it past the enemies without taking any damage. Probably, or well, not taking too much damage. Because it's in the tunnel, and it's at the very beginning of the tunnel. The sheep tube's only going to go one way as well, because we can't carry... how we can't carry... the seed, and... take... take the sheep tube at the same time. I guess we could go back up this tunnel, though. Because... we can go... Oh, that's a wall. We can use this flower spring here to get out, and then we can use the, um... What's it called? The stairs that were given to us after the multi-moon to get up there faster. I don't even have to worry about drowning. So let's take this to where it needs to go. Which is on the bottom level of this dome over here. If I can get down there. Okay. Doing well. Also, there's a coin stack over there. I might want to go get that. Let's let that grow. Oh, come on. Please. Please. There we go. 
Let's go get that coin stack. Okay, just grab all of that. Um, why am I missing purple coins? <laughs> missing 11. Well, anyway, there's some secret areas we can go into, so let's check those. Probably a good start. Rock is gone, you can go inside. And now we need to... Hang on. I want to fix it, I really do, but it's so just so heavy. So we have a bit of a block puzzle to try and fix this up. Which is going to be a little bit difficult, but I guess also not too difficult. Also, I think I've already messed it up slightly, but that's okay, because I can fix it, maybe. I have to be a very specific way to actually fit into that slot. But I think I've done it. Cool. I think I did that as unefficiently as possible, but I still did it. Because we have to have slotted in the exact correct way, otherwise it doesn't fit properly. A successful repair job. Now, is there anything else over here? I don't think there is. I think that's just all that there is in this place. Anyway. Let's move on. There was nothing else to collect there, so... Let's head over to the next place, which I guess is probably the, uh, the zip over here. There is that glowy spot down there, but I believe it's just a heart. So I don't need to worry about that. Open says me, please don't bonk. Go in. Thank you. Okay, secret area. And, and it's all about the zips, because the zips are really cool. And I don't even think we see them much after this level, which is sad. Because it's so cool. There might be a few places, but I don't remember there being any. So let's unzip these, and we can make platforms with them. Um, let's see. Do I want to go over this way? Probably want to go over this way. Because if we go up here enough, we can open up this zip, and then we can go out this way, and use this zip, and let's go, and now we're falling into the pit and dying. Except not, because this is a power moon down here. Super secret zipper. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's get back to the main platform without ground pounding into death. I thought I was dead for a second, but I'm not, so I'm okay. And now let's unzip this. I like the different shapes that they made the zips be. That's gonna fold inwards, but we wanna go out because there's actually some coins out here for us. A very cool secret area out the side, I guess. Okay. Now let's get this key. Avoiding all these enemies here. And if we grab the zip here, we can unzip this entire place, taking them all out. Except we don't get coins for it. Which is sad, but still, we get to take them all out, so. And killing them is just the true... The, 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 the treasure was the friends we made along the way. Unzip the chasm. That's everything in this secret area, so let's... Leave. Not like that, though. But this should put me by the door. Speedrun tactics, right? I would definitely... No, it was definitely longer going that way. Anyway, let's head on up now. Because I think I know where some purple coins are. Oh, but I also want to get that cheap cheap now. Because I can actually do what I was trying to do last time now. So let's grab that. Please. And let's head up this way. Because... This lady up here wants... A cheap cheap in this hole. Close range cuteness. I can hardly stand the adorability. Thanks for coming by, my by little friend. Would you like a power moon? And so we do. Also, whenever we get a power moon, uh, anything overlapping with Mario is pushed to the background while Mario is pushed to the foreground, so you can actually see Mario whenever he grabs a moon. No, this isn't where I was supposed to be, but that's okay, because I can still get to places from here that I do need to be. So, let's go over this way. Because there's a ton of challenge over here that we can do. So let's do this. 
Also, the poles in each level for the flagpoles is the same colour as the moon. Well, supposedly the same colour as the moon. So let's go up this way. Ground pound jumping all the way up. There we go. Let's grab Cappy back, or just have him return to us normally. So there's some purple coins there, but there's also a secret hole up here that we can go into for another secret area. And this one's a pretty cool one. I love these blocks. This is actually the same blocks that we saw in different areas of uh, the world. I love these blocks because it's got it's 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 got the same sound. It's got the um the tr the triangle pattern on it, and it's just really cool. But anyway, let's keep moving. We need to be holding onto ledges a lot in this area, and then scooting along the ledge. And we also need to not touch those fuzzies because those fuzzies will hurt us. I love the secret areas that look like this, because there are multiple areas that look kind of like this. They're made of the same material, and I love it. I love it so much. Anyway. Go, 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 go. Nearly ran out of time for that, but that's okay. And now... Oh dear, I have to get past these fuzzies. Ooh, ooh, er, 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 er. How come I don't remember there being fuzzies in this level? I don't know. Anyway, let's just go up this way. All the way to this platform over here. And now, let's go onto this platform. We need to move along it as it's going up and dodge the fuzzies. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, it just really just kills you. Okay. I mean, it's a good thing that they take one hit point of your health, but also... What's the point when it's just going to kill you off anyway? Anyway. Let's go ahead and just see if I can skip over to here. Oh, I can, but that was very close to death. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe, we're so safe. Okay. I'm almost there. I almost made it all the way back to where we died. Okay, and let's actually not fail this this time, because failing is bad. Usually. Okay, we're good. And now, if we stay here a little bit longer before moving on, we can go down and get that moon there. But if we wait a little bit longer, and wait for this platform to go down, we can actually get onto it again. And it will take us up. To a secret part of the level, which gives us another moon. Jump, grab, and climb some more. Very nice. Jump, grab, cling, and climb. That should be all of that. I think the last place we need to go for some stuff is over to that pipe over there, which is a pixel pipe. We can't see the pixel level. But if we get up here and go through this pixel pipe... There it is. And now we need to grab all of these notes in the pixel area without missing any which is a little bit easier said than done. And now let's grab the moon. Taking no notes in the cliffside. And now we can actually go over to this area and grab the last purple coins. Very nice. We've almost got all the moon star here. <laughs> You've become quite skilled at being flat. Yeah, well, uh, that's where I started out. That's where that's the Mario's origin. Still missing a few more moons. Starting off, let's buy our moon for this level. We can only buy one moon in each level. 
And I believe the more moons we get, the more uh, costumes that are unlocked in the regular coin part of the shop. Okay, let's buy this scuba diver outfit. And let's change into it straight away. Grab everything else. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at Mario. Look at him, he's got flippers. Plant is still growing, apparently. But if we talk to this lady, if you travel all the way to the Lake Kingdom, you should uh, dress for the occasion. To get into the Lock Lady dress uh, display window, you'll have to dress like a swimmer. Traveler, you look ready to swim. Please go inside. We need this outfit for this, which means we need some purple coins. And just keep in mind that if you can only get into an area with purple coins, there are no purple coins in that area. Also, I'm just going to keep Cappy there because he's spinning. Spin! I feel underdressed. Okay. Bye, Cappy. And he's back. Cappy's actually the goggles in this form, which is interesting. As long as he's not spinning on something. Now, where am I missing... Moon? Where am I missing Moon? I don't know where I'm missing Moon, actually. And this is still growing. I don't know how long it's going to take to grow. I guess I can talk to the parrot. Lake Kingdom Art, which we can't do while we're in the kingdom. Spiky Passage Seed, we're waiting on that. And then... Oh, that's it. Those are the only two left. Oh, it's growing so slow. Oh my goodness. So slow. Please. I feel... It feels good to make things grow. If they actually would grow one, one day. Guess while we're here we can have a look at this. Let's come back later and see how it's growing. There's also a pixel cat peach over here for a, a heart there, I guess. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to leave that for now. So let's head over to the Odyssey. Since we've done everything here, apparently. The Odyssey has powered up. And now... We can reach the Wooded Kingdom. Can... Maybe Bowser is there. Well, first off, let's head over to the Cascade Kingdom. Because we got a hint up. You can also skip this cutscene, I suppose. We have heard of a wedding with a stolen dress. Let's get after that tac tactless fiend. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. The spin throw. Well, there it is. No new information yet. Anyway, back in the Cascade Kingdom. When we get the uh, multi moon, it actually opened up some more stuff for us. And also, that hint art that we had from earlier, if I pull that up. Shows us that there's one of those pillar things missing right here. So let me head back and let's ground pound for this moon, which is a pink moon, which means we can't cash it in here. But we can cash it in once we head back there. So, but for now, I also want to get the rest of these moons that we can't, couldn't get here. We couldn't actually get all of the moons in this level before moving on. Or there is a moon that we can get, but we can only get it until we've moved on. So I wanted to come back and get the rest. The one that we couldn't get until we moved on is the one right here in this rock. That you have to hit plenty of times. You can also just pick up the rock, I'm pretty sure. Because this rock is underneath where the Odyssey was, so we can't collect it until now. Or as soon as we leave the level and come back, but anyway. We can also break this block here for 
a pipe to get up here, but we can just head up here by tricks. Which doesn't make it really faster, but it's cool to do. Now, I believe there's some purple coins here. And also, a, a secret area. Let's just go into that. Oh, it's this secret area. Okay. Well, we have a lot of enemies here. And also... A dinosaur to, to take her care of as a capture. It's not easy to control, but we can control it. And we can also dash with it to go around like this. If we shake, we can make its head bash around the place to try and take out things faster. And we can also just run through all of the blocks, enemies, just everything basically. But if we can take care of all of these enemies here, all these little tiny things, which may take a little bit of time because they're just so spread out sometimes. Once we've killed them all, a moon appears for us. But there's also a secret, this is also a secret area, so there's always two moons, right? So let's go down here. And there's that spring to, or trampoline that we can use to bounce up. Now, uh, if we're not in the dinosaur thing, we can also just use the pipe down there to get back up. Let's go and grab this moon. You can only hold on to the dinosaur for a short amount of time, so you have to be quick about getting things done, because Cappy can't hold on to big things forever. Anyway, let's grab this, and let's keep going. Okay, I'm gonna grab this so I can get around quickly. Okay. Need to find the rest of these moons and coins. Because we do need the rest of the purple coins as well. And I believe if I go up here, there's some purple coins in this little hole here. And there's also a dinosaur here that we can take for a stroll. Look at the size of that thing! Okay, let's take this for a ride. We can take out pretty much anything with this, and this plus a tramp trampoline that's nearby is what's used to skip straight to the boss of this level very quickly. Oh boy, here we go. Just taking out literally everything. Kinda want those purple coins, thank you. And these purple coins over here as well. Just grab the purple coin. And this is probably gonna end badly. But that's okay because we can just leave the capture. If your capture can't go in water, it will just disappear, so... Um, I think... Let's go into this hole, this pipe. Oh, I forgot those coins there still. I'll have to go back for them, but that's okay because that shouldn't take too long. Let's head on up here. And let's head over to the arena that we had before because we didn't have much of a look at it before. And now there's actually a timer challenge here for us. Let's -a go. Triple jump. Oh. Oh, I need to actually get up there, please. Thank you. And there's another one of these special blocks here. Let's go get these purple coins and this moon over here. This is such an easy level, I'm surprised at how easy some of these moons are. I mean, this was the first level and we did leave it for a bit, but still. Ooh, that was nearly bad, I nearly fell, but it's fine. I caught myself before I fell, and now let's drop down here and say hello to Captain Toad again. There are so many rare fossils around here. I jump for joy, but, you know. Oh, I also found a power moon in my search, but you can have it. Good morning, Captain Toad. Okay, let's head down, and I purposefully less left a chain jump here, but it, the rest respawned anyway. Anyway, there's this little hole here that we can get a power, power moon from. Now, how many power moons actually left? Not many. Okay, cool. Let's keep moving. And go over this way. Because over this way, there's a pipe. Also, 
Some more purple coins for us if I can grab them. Thank you. Okay, so... This is actually a fun little secret area because we need to chain these chomps along into the hole to activate the next path. So let's keep doing this. And it's going to get a little bit crazy about how it wants you to do that. So let's aim at the edge of this chain chop a little bit. You have to angle yourself just right so it sends it in the right direction. Oh my goodness. And it's just going to get more complicated as we go. Now, I think I need to kind of... Uh, like that. Nice. And that should be where the power moon is. But we're not done yet, so let's jump into this little hole over here, which is very well hidden. And let's see if we can get this one done, which shouldn't be too hard since it's just like that. And let's grab this moon. It's a secret area, so there has to be two moons, usually. It's, 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 there's usually two moons, but there are, there are like, so, so, uh, there's a few places where there aren't. Which is surprising. Anyway, nice shot with the chain chomp. Now, where else do I need to go? I need to go over to those coins I remembered. I definitely remembered them. After I missed them, but anyway. So let's go ahead and get up here, please. Oh my goodness, how did I save that? I don't even know. Let's grab those. And let's go down here as well. Because there's another secret door. And we get a 8-bit level. And I love the 8-bit levels. I really love them. I want an entire game of just the 8-bit levels. Okay. Just gonna let that shell do its job of breaking blocks and also taking out Goombas. And now we need to take these platforms going up and down all over the place. I think I can actually get up here and grab some coins instead of going through the pipe. And I can do that in a few places actually. I can also just jump down here into a secret area. And I want to get this Koopa Trooper. Ow. Because it breaks open a block for us. Which allows us to go into this secret area behind everything. And we can grab this Pixel Moon. Hidden Chasm Passage. Man, I love how the Power Moons heal you when you grab them. So nice. Anyway, let's go up here. And let's go through here now. I need to actually get to the top part of this area because... You can just go straight forward to get the Power Moon, but you also need... Oh, I missed. You also need to go past it for some purple coins. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Let's try that again. And if I could run faster than that, that'd be great. I think you need the momentum. You really need the momentum. Oh, I think I nearly made that from the second platform as well. Okay, here we go. And there we go. It's very annoying if you don't know that you can actually get up there, because it's somewhat difficult to actually get up there, but you just need to have the momentum from the first platform going. So you need to run a bit on the first platform, fall to the second platform, jump to the second platform on the next level, and then jump to the end. If that makes any sense. But anyway, while we're here, I believe, possibly, there's something else that I'd actually like to go over now, except I can't, I don't think. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> How are we doing on power moons? There's also two player in this game, but it's not very good. It's just splitting your one player in two, basically. I'm also missing purple coins. Actually, I know where a few purple coins are, and they might actually lead to me to some more moons while I'm here. Well, there's a timer challenge right here that I can get. So let's do that. Okay, 
I believe I can do this, except I fell and I'm in the water, but I still managed to do it somehow. I don't know how that worked. Anyway, let's go over to this little hole over here, because there's a treasure chest here. We're the moon for us. Treasure of the Waterfall Basin. And I think the last purple coins are at the edge of the big waterfall over here. If I can get over there. No, there's a few more. There's also a painting which is empty. So, that's cool. But we, yeah, that's just it. Now, let's see. Where are the last three purple coins? Probably at the start because I, I'm pretty sure there are some over there that I just didn't go get before. Purple coin. Yep, there they are. Let's grab that. And now, we can go to the shop. Which isn't as useful as it is in other kingdoms, but still. So let's buy a moon. Man, these cappy people are so happy. And cute. And let's buy out this caveman outfit. Which we're probably not going to need to wear, but anyway. It's, we still have it, so... Just buy everything else as well. And there we go. I also love how this radio here is playing the, um, what is this shop? The Cappy Cap. I love how this radio is also playing the Cappy Cap theme, except for the when I hit it. Uh, anyway, that should be everything we can get here at the moment. I think, probably, I'm going to check the, um, the parrot to see if that's got anything else for us. No more hints here. Okay. We're good. So with that, that's everything in this kingdom for now. And everything in the lake and uh, sand kingdom. Except for a few minor things, but that's fine. We'll be getting those at some point in the near future. But for now, that is it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.